That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Little man is dancing. Wow, this looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Mingle. I guess I'll mingle. What does that mean? I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Approved. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it something cool. I mean, nah. I think it deserves a name. It's a bomb, not a baby. We're not naming it. Okay, fine. Have it your way. <laughs> it's not a baby, bro. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And how we got stuck here for as long as we did. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make sure it's someone you've actually met. This will be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. Hmm. That's the Marlin? No, that's the Ruby. I don't think Louis is. I don't think Marlon than Ruby. Uh. You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you guess that? <laughs> it's the red hair. Dead giveaway. Ah, I not mean, that. <laughs> I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all... That, that little motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> Our sweet Ruby here was kind of a nightmare when she first showed up. Ooh. She once chased the home ec teacher around the yard with a barbecue fork this big. No way. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Dude, no. Chronic masturbation. Bruh. What the fuck? Willie, I speak for all of us when I say nobody has ever, ever wanted to know that. What does that mean? I don't know either, to be honest, but uh, it, it looks nasty. It sounds nasty, I mean. Oh, my guy got emotional uh, damage. Anyway, maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Put on the classical stuff. A oh, baby is cold outside. <laughs> Imagine. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Lamar? Aaron. She had the braces. Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stephanie. Holy crap, how many of us died? 34. Where's the dead bodies then? Hmm. 
Whose is it? Violet's. Should we read it? I, uh, I, I could tell you guys my story instead. What got me sent here, I mean. Only if you want. It's not great. Okay. I was hoping you'd tell me. So, my family was stupid rich. Parents gave me everything I wanted when I wanted it. Except for one thing, singing lessons. God, I begged my dad, told him I wanted to be a real musician. But all he said was, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. Can't be both. I know now that he was just trying to teach me a dumb dad lesson, but I hated him for that. So I decided I'd teach him a lesson. I thought, I'll break up my parents' marriage. That hurt real bad, right? So I broke into my dad's credit card accounts and made all these purchases in his name. Did this for over a year. This is how rich we were. He never noticed he was spending a fortune on a mistress that I'd made up for him. But I made sure my mom did. Sent her all the receipts for the hotel rooms, the jewelry, all of it. They had a fight all night long. He denied it. She wouldn't have it. I sat in the corner and cried to help it feel more real. When their divorce was final, I told them the truth. I said, you get to be happy or you get to be rich. You don't get to be both. Man, what an asshole. <laughs> you know, those two would have been happily married forever, but... Then I had to go be a vindictive fuckhead. Oof. I came here the week after. Worst party ever. I can see by your face you regret it. They said we were bad people, Clem. They weren't wrong. Still, none of us deserve to be ditched out here in the middle of the forest by the people that were supposed to make us better. Sorry, this was supposed to be fun. I guess I'm not really a game person. Don't beat yourself up. You said it yourself. Clem needs to know who she's leading into battle. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared. Of course I remember. I helped compose it with her. Could you maybe play it for us? If I was here, she could sing the words, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to, Ten. Wow. T.L. Clementine Lewis. Forever together, huh? This is for you, Minnie.
Wow, that was great. I like the way he's. I like the way he used the piano. Is that train? No way, wait. Oh no. We're back in the past again. <gasps> Lee? <gasps> Bro, the graphics are so Thanks, good. Sweetie. She's so cute. Lee? Oh my god, Lee. Look at him. He looks like a chat. Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Where you taught me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Eh? Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. Clementine, I know is gonna fix it. But what if I can't? I'm so scared for my friends, Lee. Scared that I'll... I'll let them down. It's normal to be scared. Hell, it'd be strange if you weren't. But you can't let it get to you. Imagine how Violet will feel when... She finds out you came to rescue her. You'll have given her hope again. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A boy who thinks the world of you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again, when you've gotten them out, okay? Out and safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish you were really here. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. I meant to ask, 
How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. Uh, ben, you teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. EJ's amazingly. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am? Yes. I wish you didn't die, dude. Wow. Just look at you. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Just look at you. Yes. I told you to keep this short. Um, you don't know how hard it is to find scissors these days. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go, Clementine. You've got people that need you. Yes, and I need you, no? <sighs> Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. They're making noise with shooting in the night. Dummies. Uh, I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend is here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good... Willie, stay focused. Now isn't the time for this. We can ask questions later. Yeah, right. Sorry. I'm focused. Oh, and... Sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. Functional and fashionable. I'll take two. <laughs> Very funny. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Hey, uh, Ten, come here, buddy. I gotta tell you something. 